it's probably with the windshield below one right now in my face. Let me try to close the helmet. Uh, it's now four degrees, four Celsius. Uh, with the wind velocity, it's got to be at least two, three below zero. And there is a thunderstorm right in front of me. Giant one. Uh, looks like a cumulonimbus cloud. All right. Uh, up to now, I don't feel any cold inside the suit. Okay. Good morning, guys. So today we're gonna have a different uh, kind of uh, part one review. Let me check if the mic is recording. One, two, one, two. Okay. And uh, you know. Everything about is testing, testing, testing. That, that's the reviews. Reviews help us to get good stuff and uh, the manufacturers to produce quality product in a good price. Okay, that's, that's uh, competition. So, today, uh, We have gotten a really good price, a couple of sweets. So we're going to be testing them. Uh, on this part one, I'm just going to, you know, show you how they look like. Because I haven't really seen any good videos there in uh, um, surprise! I've, the only decent video I found was in German, uh, from an Austri I think it's uh, an Austrian guy, and uh, even my wife that she, you know grew up in German, he couldn't understand him. <laughs> she speaks fluent German, so that's the reason I'm doing this because uh, you know it 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 it's the motorcycle information highway. That's what YouTube is and the internet. Nothing more, nothing less. We exchange information, we improve our quality of, uh, of riding or even our quality of life because it's not just motorcycles, it's huge, it's the whole world. All right, so let me get ready, clean up the table a little bit and come back. I have opened everything. All right, so you know, last a last, uh, couple of days ago, it rained like mud. So it's, everything's a little bit dirty. We fixed it. So what we got here is a BMW Street Guard. We got them at a really good price. And it's Gore-Tex. And this is what it looks like. Okay, that's me and hers. Um, so one jacket here. Wow. I just opened this, so it has an in a liner inside, you know, we'll, and uh, uh, we want to see what's going on because we have an, 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 an amazing deal and uh, we couldn't resist, so we will upgrade our equipment. So these are two suites that for me and her, and uh, um, I want to see because there's not really too many videos about this BMW stuff out there, really. And uh, this is a uh, four season waterproof, okay, and supposed to be excellent quality. Everybody's a little bit complained that they're really hot in the summer. I don't care, we have summer jackets. I don't want it for summer, I want it for like you know, spring, fall, and winter. And uh, even if we have a really, uh, really good jackets lately uh, from a local company, I couldn't resist the deal. The deal was like incredible. I'm not gonna tell you how much. Okay, so this like, looks like, these are the pants. Okay, two of them. They have the uh, uh, street guard BMW motorrad. Uh, this particular is the Street Guard 3. 
So these are the latest, uh, I think these are the latest models. I'm not very familiar with it. I'm just going to review them so we can see exactly how they look like it because they are expensive. Okay, the pens they run for uh, right now on our local uh, eBay, I can say that brand new, or on our local uh, BMW dealer, uh, 650. Okay, and this is like about 900 something a piece. So I want to make sure before you spend the money, you get something good. I'm going to test them in rain. Or if we don't have rain, I'm going to just, you know, go under the shower or something. Figure out what's going on. But I'm sure they are waterproof. And uh, these are thin shulate. That's another, that's, that's definitely hers because this is small. And uh, this one here. Oh, these are the pens. So, BMW. Grush something like that you know i don't think we need all this stuff for uh, uh in greece but i remember one time there was a big party in february uh what was like three four years ago a harley davidson uh, party up in uh, the, uh, macedonia thessalonica that's greece okay and uh, Everybody left, but I have to work, so I have to leave the day after. The day after was like rain from Athens. I was in rain for nine hours. Everybody got like when I when I got there, like everybody came around to you know to help me out and everything. We got in a room. I took a hot shower. It's a long story, but I stopped in the middle of the way to buy new clothes because I was all wet including my gloves and I have three pairs of gloves with me I've never been so many so much rain not even in the States crayon is there so uh, this one okay that's the men's all right so let me see here what's going on okay that's the men's inside wow so basically to order stuff like this make sure you measure your chest before you order them and your hips very important you can you, you might want to uh, check the length uh, they are expensive and uh, you don't know what's the deal to to take them back or anything so these are the inner, the inside of the pants. All right, so let's see here. This is the inside of a jacket. So that's gonna be hers. It has a nice neck here. All right. Um, let me bring the GoPro a little bit closer maybe so you can take a closer look. Okay, this is how the jacket looks like. Very nice. BMW Motorrad. Amazing. This is nice. Okay, I'm going to wear it soon. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the look. Here. And here. And here. And I'll be right back. So... Okay, it's a lot of stuff here. Um, let me check if this recording. Another, another. Okay, one, two, one, two. Good. So today uh, I took for a ride. Uh, I also test the uh, the Tom Tom uh, Rider 500 550. They have a latest update, and uh, the connection was like finally after a year, perfect. So this is my next review. On the Tom Tom Rider, you can see the first one last year, about a year ago, and it's an incredible GPS. All right, so it looks like this thing here. It goes like that. Okay. 
I'm gonna put my glasses inside. The mic is here. All right. Let's just try it. Wow, this is light. <laughs> I'm used to it, very heavy jackets. I have a uh, FX uh, GR uh, Harley Davidson for 20 years. That thing is very heavy. I think this is, this is perfect for my size. Yeah, right here. And I have a little space so I can put a sweater inside. Uh, it feels very comfortable. It has the protection, the protectors here. And it has a protector here. Three. Now this protector, these are the yellow ones. I will uh, try to take one out so you can see it. But what they do is they're very flexible when you use them. I can feel it now. Look at that. It goes from here all the way back here. It protects all your ankle here. But um, when they get hit hard, they, they become hard. So they can, you know, save your bones in case of emergency. This thing is nice. I can't believe it is so light. It's very light. So, now this is the neck everybody's talking about that becomes completely waterproof from me here. I will try it. Uh, the velcro that it can't see it, but uh, all right, let me put it up a little bit more. I have closed the mic inside. Okay, so it looks like this is like that. This is like that. Oh yeah, I can see it now. But there's no way rain will go through it because you know that your helmet is here, so rain will fall on the side. Onto the jacket. Crown, what are you doing? Hello, Katsu. Mira, that's our uh, very smart puppy. That's a puppy. That giant dog is a puppy. It's a our German Shepherd. He's going to be two years old in the summertime. Say hi to the world. Come here. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> All right, so uh, my first impression is. Comfortable. It's comfortable, and uh, I have an adventure jacket. Let me show you. This is what I have before, and I have now. Of course, I'm going to keep it. And this is this made they made in, in Greece. It's an amazing jacket, and uh, it's it, that's an adventure uh, Evo, uh, from a company called Northcore, but. That thing is amazing and it's under 300 bucks, believe it or not. But now I can feel it. This is half the, the weight. This is twice the weight. Unbelievable. I'm not going to bring out the, uh, the Harley jacket, maybe later. <laughs> That's like weight, three of them. You couldn't even leave me. Uh, let me. To change. Okay, so. It's my size, definitely. So. It has protectors here, good, good, and here, and on your knees, and uh, uh, I don't think I will need the uh, the thin relate. That thing is nice. Um, crown, let me work. <laughs> okay, so basically, that thing is it's it's very comfortable. You have to put it all the way up. It has some, uh, it has two packets here. With zippers. A little bit hard to pull, but, you know. And it has a Velcro here. So you can open, put your boots and close it. And another zipper here. So the, the thing is completely, uh, protected and waterproof and uh, and breathable so crown come on let's go Perto. Perto. that's the only way i can get him out of here all right so basically uh, he loves this uh, come on <laughs> sorry come on come on come on come on hi come on uh, okay, I hope he's gonna stay there. He hit my head. All right, so let 
let me try to sit down I've done it before okay so we sit down and wait we are in taverna and we're hanging out and it's comfortable oh, I can't wait for Rose to come and try her it's comfortable and 100% waterproof beautiful so it has a zipper here it's very simple really you know uh, the zippers are really hard to pull I'm gonna probably put some silicone spray on them 100% silicone right here I don't know, you tell me how it looks. It feels very comfortable. All right, let's go to the next step. This is the liner for the pants. The thin insulate. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I'm gonna need that. This is like, uh, it looks like for the, for, uh, <laughs> get dressed up for the North Pole or something. But, uh, this thing is, uh, you know, thin sulate right here. I've been using thin sulate for ski uh, for years since I was very young, and uh, I'm very familiar with it. You really stay warm. So this is the edge here, that's here, here, and uh, this is the thin sulate for hairs. Mine is already in, uh, on the jacket, and uh, check it out. It's, uh, it has probably an opening here because it's a pocket, so you can put your hand. What's in this? There you go. And this one here. And the the thing is, it's, it's, it's everything. It's light. The pants are not. As light as, but I'm not I'm not familiar with it because I have just an enduro pants, uh, so I have never wear pants like that before. Just a regular enduro pants, something like that, but light. So this this feels like uh, an armor. Feels you you feel already safe. So I put the jacket on again. Me now. The jacket is very lightweight. It's about time yeah, uh, to have a light jacket like that. And uh, I use heavy jackets in the winter, fall and spring, not in the summer, most of my life. I've been riding for like, can't even remember, 40 years? Yeah, more than 50. So, This feels great. I feel, I'm very happy, guys. All right, so my first impression, I mean, it's, you can see it. There's two pockets here. Two pockets here. I don't see any other pocket. Probably. Oh, there are pockets here. And another pocket here, so just now I found four. That's it. That's all. I don't need more. I put most of my electronics on uh, on the bike. But uh, come on, come on, baby. Ferto, 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 Ferto. Ah! Ah! <laughs> All the guys, come on, come on. Ah. 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 He's getting very strong. I can't even pull. Ah. He got me. So here, it's another velcro. There is an opening here, and you can adjust it. Um, I'm probably going to have the gloves inside here, so the rain can go through it, or on the top. We we'll see. And that armor comes all the way here. 
and back here to protect your uh, uh, elbow. So your uh, your ankle here. Uh, I don't want to take it off. And today it's a it's kind of like a medium heat day. It's uh, we are on uh, on the twenties. It feels very comfortable. Very comfortable. Okay, my first impression is I love it. All right, see you a little bit later. Uh, part two. Um, I'm gonna do a review on this on on a bike. This beautiful uh, equipment. And uh, I would recommend, uh, uh, already I would recommend it because uh, um, I haven't finished testing, of course, but it, the first impression is unbelievable, lightweight, feel very comfortable. You should go try them, okay? And there is deals running right now worldwide about this stuff. You can probably, I've, I've, I found a guy in, um, on, a, on, a, on a group that he got this set for half price. So you can see what's going on. And uh, there is also very important the armor here. Okay, the armor is very important to protect you. Look at that. I can feel it here and here and uh, here and on the back. The protectors. But the protectors, they're not uncomfortable. That's the difference. On this jacket here, uh, I removed the, the bag because it, it, it bothered me. It was a little bit too big. I don't know, maybe I can cut it down a little bit. But right now I'm going to be using this stuff. All right. So I'm going to take the insulate out because I think it's too much. Uh, it's April. There's another packet here. Check it out. So I got to find out a little bit more. And... Uh, uh, I come back to you with details on this and a test on the motorcycle and hopefully we're gonna get a cold day I'm not sure about that, but at least I'm gonna try it with water somehow. All right. Thanks for watching guys She's see wearing you hair Turn around. Let's see you Wow Very sexy <laughs> Right there. How do you feel? I feel very nice. It's very comfortable. Yeah. Very light. Yes. I can make every kinesis uh, movement. Movement. Yes. I feel like um, I'm wearing a jean. Turn around. Slowly. It looks really good. It looks really good. Ah! <laughs> we are doing now. Mwah. Congratulations to yes. both of us. It looks, it looks, it looks amazing. It looks really good. Yes, it, it feels really good. It feels comfortable, right? Yes, yes. Okay. It's feeling heavy or no? No. Not heavy. It's very light. Okay. Very, very. It's light. better than the other one you have, the adventure. Of course. Yes. Yes. It's What's the difference? The other one is more uh, heavy, this is more light, and I, I can make every movement I, I want, and I don't feel <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's finish the review. Great. I'll see you guys in a minute. See you on the next video. The next video will be uh, the TomTom Tom, uh, GPS, the 500, 550 is the same. Uh, look my videos to see why. And uh, connected with the uh, uh, Cardo Pactalk Bolt and the phone. And I can even receive uh, messages from Facebook. It's amazing. I did the connection last night. So if you're interested on a really good GPS with very bright display uh, compared to Garmin, all right, it, check it out. Thanks. Come, baby. Say bye. Come on, say bye. Who's coming, mom? Say bye. Good boy. All right. Look how beautiful this day is. Here's Harley. All right, so. Check. 
One, two, one, two, recording. Okay. Oh boy. We have a little accident. Uh, little accident. My bike fell on the side. Inside the garage. All right. Hi guys. I have a little accident, bike fall on the side in the garage, but it fell on the side of, of, of the planks, the wall, and I couldn't pick it up. I have no space to put my bar inside. So thank God, one of the neighbors was there and uh, helped me. So today it's a test, I'm just taking a test ride. And, uh, I'm gonna try the, uh, the BMW street car, the one I'm wearing. It's already dead because I tried, you know, all this kind of stuff to pick out the bike. So it's very cold. We're close to zero, and I was looking for rain too, but I was going for rain today, but the rain is now it's not here. And uh, temperature now it's. Uh, right now it's five degrees. Ah, Check it out. Ah, I can't believe it. It's extremely windy. Let's make it tight and throw a little bit better. Oh man. How windy it is. It's gotta be blowing. Uh, 30, 40 miles per hour. Okay. Very windy. So thank God there was no damage on the bike. Ah, look, look at that. I have no idea what this bike is going to do. With all, with all this wind, I can't even hold the bike. It's a cold front, came through. And... Ah, I'm freezing. It's probably... With the windshield below one right now in my face. Let me try to close the helmet. Shit. It's cold. Alright. Uh, okay. Let me open that. No. Uh. stop this helmet is that new and I'm not familiar with it I'm gonna stop again to close the helmet okay hold on okay the mic is in here Oh boy. Okay. All right, let's try again. Ah, uh, it's now four degrees, four Celsius. Uh, with the wind velocity, it's got to be at least two, three below zero. And there is a thunderstorm right in front of me. Giant one. Uh, looks like a cumulonimbus cloud. All right. Uh, up to now, I don't feel any cold inside the suit. Okay. The jacket, I'm wearing the insulate. The pants, I don't. I'm talking about the inside uh, uh, linear. So, 
and uh, I put on the mic just in case you've been watching the videos through the uh, when I have reviewed the uh, the road go mic that's on uh, this GoPro I have two GoPros right now one on my face and one uh, with the mic on ah it's a ray ball there okay good nice so yeah there is a storm up northeast so basically it feels good inside I'm wearing just uh, just a shirt because I'm gonna test it <coughs> um, I'm also testing these gloves they made here North Core in uh, this cold weather and up to now they're uh, They're warm. Of course, I have light up the uh, the grips. I have put them on maximum. Okay, so up to now, uh, the pants. I don't feel nothing. It's like uh, it's a regular day or something. I don't feel cold at all. And it's without the insulation, the thin slate layer. Uh, the jacket I have, the layer, thin slate uh, inner. And uh, um, I feel a little bit cold passing through here, but it's normal because I'm not wearing uh, a hood. Let me see, okay, I have a... So the bike fall on the side, <laughs> I'm not careful. Uh, because I was not careful. It fell on the other side, after I put it on the stand. But it fall on some planks, and I couldn't go inside to pick it up. Like, like no way. I took off, the, to do that, I took off the seat completely, and... Uh, I try again so I can get a grip, nothing. And then thank God, my neighbor came, he's also a motorcyclist. He's riding a DTM Yamaha, and he's, uh, we're about the same age with him, Vageli, so he helped me out. Thank God, thanks Vageli. So, <coughs> you know, without testing, you can't really understand anything here. So, uh, you know, inside, it's like I'm wearing nothing, it's just, just a shirt. Of course, when you when I go on a trip, a winter day like that, I'm gonna uh, wear my thin suit clothes. Just a nice sweater, and I think I'm gonna be fine. So I wish I could get some rain, but uh, you know, there is uh, people talking about this. Uh, this suit here is totally waterproof, so I will trust them. But I wanted to do my own test. But the rain is over there. <coughs> I don't know if I turn, you can see it. Uh, I'm surprised. Like yesterday, we have we are in the 20s Celsius. It was like 65 Fahrenheit, something like that. And today we are close to zero, so this, this weather this year in, uh, in Greece is uh, it's crazy. We are in, in a mountain, we live uh, north of Athens. So here on the right I'm going to pass the uh, Panorama Cafe, this is a hangout, you can see all the sea, it's right here. Looks like it's open, because the lockdown is over. They still have restrictions. So the seas over there, if you see other, other videos, I'm gonna try to turn around so you can see it. When I go back, you can see the view, and the rain far away now. So I feel very comfortable. The most important thing is, this, this suit is light. This jacket, it's very light. 
and uh, I have uh, two more jackets for winter. I have uh, a Harley Davidson leather jacket for my Harley. I have it for 20 years. It's the FX, the FX uh, RG, something like that. And uh, that thing is amazing. It's bulletproof. But this is good too. I feel comfortable. But it's heavy. <coughs> it's extremely heavy. Then I bought an adventure jacket. Probably gonna see it on past videos. Uh, from North Cap. That is also bulletproof. Lighter than the li uh, leather jacket. The Harley jacket. But! <laughs> this is a winter jacket. And it has half the weight of uh, of the adventure jacket. And it's very comfortable. It's very comfortable. It's much more comfortable than anything I have. It feels like my summer jacket that is like very lightweight. It, it, that's how it feels. And it has armors on everything. It has one here, one there, and one on the back. Now it has four packets here. Okay, it has a zipper packet, probably to put stuff with the rain and everything. And it has an outside packet, so you can put your hands when you walk around. Alright? And it has a couple of packets here. So... But... Today, with this old cold weather, it's all about the, the test ride. Beautiful wild day. We used to fly <laughs> a day like that. It was blowing out. We used to go up in the mountain, fly hang lighters, north of New York in Ellenville. Yeah, I have a couple of videos here. Yes, you can go back and see my uh, last year uh, hang landing fly. And uh, uh, it was great. I got back into the sport after years. After eight, I think seven, eight years. And I felt very comfortable, it was a great day. So this year probably we're going to do a couple of flights too. Um, also, I'm testing this helmet, this is the Shark. I also wanted to test it in the rain. Now, uh, I feel very comfortable with that, no cold wind going inside and everything. So I, I'm sure with the hood, it will be bulletproof too. And it has a dark... Uh, visor here you know so it, it the helmet feels very very comfortable it's a little bit tight here but this is new and I have used it last year in the you know hot summer days and uh, And it was very comfortable in uh, hot weather too because I'm riding uh, open face most of my life I'm not comfortable to close the helmet except if it's a cold day like that like today Let me put this down So everything feels good right now on this cold weather I'm not getting any rain, this is just a test ride to test the uh, the BMW Street Guard. We got uh, we got them uh, yesterday, and uh, I'm gonna upload the video again. It's uh, the thing is Gore-Tex, so it's breathable. And I got one for me and one of my wife. And uh, she was very happy about that. We got them in a really good deal because they are expensive. Uh, this one it runs right now if you get it from the store or from BMW uh, the jacket is like around 900 something and that's euros and the pants are about 650 so it's expensive to get two of them like about three grand but when you get a hard deal you gotta take it all right great I feel I feel very comfortable I feel like I'm li uh, riding in, uh, in the summertime. It feels great. That's a natural spring we just passed back there. 
you get water from there, clear water, all year round. So, but I think if you go on a long trip, uh, you gotta put the inside layers on the pants too. Okay, just to be on the safe side. And I'm just wearing sweatpants, nothing else, not my jeans. So. You know, for a short ride like that, it's fine. But for a long ride, if you go on a winter trip, uh, you know, 200, 300 miles, or, uh, you know, two days, three days, five days, or whatever, you gotta put everything inside and a thermo other clothes, just to be on a, to be 100% secure. What a beautiful day. It feels, it, it, it's like a winter day. It doesn't feel like April in Greece. It's like a winter day. That's a nice look out here. We come with uh, my wife for a picnic. Right here. Beautiful. You can see the whole city under it. So, I'm going to finish up this, uh, this video. And I'm going to upload it uh, today, probably later on. Because there's not really much videos out there for uh, this kind of uh, equipment okay including the helmet this is going to be part of the shark and uh, the reason i'm getting the shark is because before we i have the uh, the roof boxer you see i want something that when you open the scene to go all the way in the back all right and this is how it goes Okay, let me close the visor. You see that? So it goes all the way in the back. Same on the roof boxer. So when you go a little bit fast, you're cruising like, let's say, 140 kilometers or, you know, 75 miles per hour or 80. Uh, the wind will not just push your head back. And it's much more comfortable. So that, that's the reason. I, and the, I couldn't find anything else on the market. Just the roof boxer does that. And this particular helmet, helmet the sark. That's it. If you can see all the other open face uh, or, uh, you know, opening helmets, uh, it doesn't go all the way back. All right, thanks for, for watching, guys.